Hey guys, this is Josue, uh, again with another actually cool video. I don't know if you guys heard about the Wiking Go, I guess, but this is actually a portable GPU dock, if I'm guessing. Uh, this one, this program is called the TV three quarter dock, uh, model WKGL17-C100 specification 40 gbps and uh, not too heavy but actually inside here it's gonna let me be able to pair it with my lenovo go and see if i can make this thing work a little faster i'm also going to be uh, pairing it with uh, 3060 uh, super uh, nvidia car um, and i'm also going to put my old 750 uh, wax uh power supply that's from my old setup that i used to use in my own computer but let's see how that works all right let's see what's inside this sucker i know i really want to see you guys' uh comments so you know this is my kind of first video unboxing something that has been already un unboxed but we'll see what's up inside there well there is your um your cable, your type C. And this one is not so long, honestly. Uh, I know that he sent me everything that came out uh, when he opened it. I know that he upgraded GPU, uh, APU to something different, something more like a full and closer. But um, this is, if I'm guessing, like a, a two foot long. Not so long. I don't really like that. Obviously, I'm gonna be upgrading this to something longer. Uh, what's inside this little box? Okay. If I can get it on. Oh. This is catching up with something there. Hopefully, I'm not bending something. You know what? I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut through the top of it because I honestly don't really want to bend any connectors or pins. I know this is not the actually bag that comes with, uh, but you definitely see. Those are the, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bend this ones over here. It looks like over here we have the turn on and off switch which i believe that is on and this is off yeah i can tell i don't know that much of electrical but i can tell that over here is actually on so definitely there is your uh connectors for your uh pcu power supply and this is where your graphic card goes to and i believe this will be some for something else but yeah that's one of them I put this other side over here, move my scissors back over here, get this bag, double check if there's nothing there missing. Yep, there's a screw right there. There's nothing else. Okay, there's nothing else there. So there's some more screws over here, nice and packed. Uh, I believe that he told me that there was no instructions in the box, but there's a lot of pages that you can actually do a little research and all, and all that. But a lot of people say like, I think Greater should be able to put it all together. That looks like it's gonna go over here and hooked up with something else. I'm definitely, since my finger are a little bit sticky, so I'm definitely gonna do, uh, I'm gonna clean it up before I put it all together especially when it has been second hand use. There's not a lot of dust in it, but I really like that he kept all these bags. If they actually, those are the original bags that came with, but and definitely that's a nice, oh look, it actually came up with a small little screwdriver. Excellent. I'm gonna look like that one that came up with my GPU. All right, so there's not a lot on this plate right here looks like it's a simple little board i'm sure oh there you go that's where your um, type c connector will hooked up to awesome okay 
So I'm gonna put that over here. I'm gonna keep this little bag. I'm definitely not keeping this one. I'm sure these are another ones that I came with. This is another plate. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing. There's a little screw on that. I'm glad I opened it like that. So we're gonna close this. And we definitely gonna keep this box. You never know when you're gonna resell it, upgrade. I always keep all my boxes, anything that I buy. Oh, there's something else. There's okay, no, there's just a bag. So I definitely recommend keeping your boxes, even if your wife is said that you guys need to throw them away, or they throw them away. Tell them it actually is there. It's money that they're throwing away because things are more value when you have the original package or the original bag still or the boxes i mean all right so i'm gonna put this out of the side for now i'm definitely gonna be writing uh i'll be putting in the links uh for where you can buy them honestly you can check around other places and see if you can find them locally but i do recommend i always recommend buy neo because you get an extra warranty if things don't work right but uh let's see let's start to put it together and see if we, uh, this 30 30 year old guy can put it together like they said uh, it should be really easy to put. so uh, let's start with cleaning some of these things so that has a good contact honestly i always love cleaning my things really nice and clean before i put them together so this is just a regular wipes with alcohol, alcohol wipes. Really nice to clean things around. I'm gonna put that and make sure it takes all that grease off your fingers and stuff like that. So nothing gets there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I don't think it matters which way it goes, but I'm just gonna make sure we put it right there like that. Nice and still. This one, by the way that I'm looking at my computer screen, it goes this way. There you go. And now uh, we have to line up these little things, which they already have put on there. Okay. All right. Sweet. Okay. So put this up here. And we're gonna open this screws. I used to have a small little screw holder, but guess what? I keep moving things around in my shop, so I don't really know where exactly I put them. So let me just put everything in this one. I know this is what I use. I know that's a screw for my laptop actually. And these are for my computer. Um, screens dust screens that i have so i'm sure what i'm gonna do first like i always do so i'm gonna put this over here i'm gonna put it right there hold it like that and i'm gonna try to oh there's they're magnetic actually that's gonna work nice and i'm just gonna Work them like that. Okay, this one. I'm not gonna tie everything until I got everything nice and situated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, that one didn't even want it. Now the one for that one doesn't look like it's big enough. Well, ten minutes later. <laughs> Sweet. 
there you go. That one actually went easy. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other. So, okay, so make sure you're lining up every corner, I guess, because I was just a little bit off. And you know, and it's actually a really solid frame. Really nice and steady. And that's not that I have like completely tied every single bowl yet. Let's screw, uh, let's see, this one, nice and easy, goes in. Need to find the other small one, there you go. There you go. Okay, everything is good, nice. I believe I'm left with those screws for now. So, okay, so now we can start go ahead and find everything good. this one so I don't know definitely what will those be for it looks like it's a jumper over here I'm gonna wait for that and I want to see we'll find out <laughs> okay so now I need to get my graphic card I haven't put this graphic card for a long time Hopefully it still works, working great. I was thinking about selling it actually, but to be honest, I'm glad I didn't sell it because now I'm gonna use it. And I might use those cables, the old cables that I used to have. Mm. Throwing this bad boy in it, yeah, it's a little big, but that's a 3070, and it's uh, from EVGA GeForce RTS. So, I'm guessing it's a little bit overkiller, but want to make sure it actually does the job that it needs to do. So, I'm gonna take this little cover I got on it and she's actually in a pretty good place to be clean okay so we're gonna make sure we remove this little I think those are the graphic holder And I should be able to line it up. Let me take this little cover right here. There you go. There you go. That one better. For a second, I thought it didn't. So, wow, look how much it sticks out of the, <laughs> that thing. But we'll see. I feel like this 
they need some bigger washers actually because it doesn't look to me it doesn't feel right they they feel like real they're really small little knobs but What do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna work? <laughs> we'll find out pretty sweet. Pretty soon. If it doesn't work, it's because I did something wrong. And that guy for cars actually was working in a perfect, perfect good condition. I'm gonna put this little suckers back on just because I don't use them. I'm not gonna use them. Hold on. And I think it's gonna mow some flies <laughs> during the summer. So, okay, so for the graphic card, uh, let's see. I'm gonna get my old seven. I think it's an 850. I can't remember. Believe it or not, I don't even remember what I use. I always keep buying like things. My wife gets so mad. I got some issues with eBay and some other things. Actually, yes, it's an A350 SDS. It's actually from uh, Corsair, right there. Pretty good brand that I that I went with. Uh, has three me amazing. And honestly, there's not a lot of bad things about this type of uh, PCUs. Uh, the only thing that I uh, I love uh, I like of it is because they're really small, they're nice, and for example, on this one is um, it works amazing on my uh, Lee and Lee eight that I have case, and look at all look at all those pores that it has. They're just amazing for everything. You got your SATA, your PCIe, and your CPU, your motherboard ones, and you got some more over here. It's it's just amazing. I said um, um, it's gonna gonna work great on this, and see hopefully it actually fits the way I want it. I know it's gonna have to go this way. And oh my God, the bolts are lining up. This is definitely gonna be nice. Look at that. <laughs> okay, and you guys think about that. That's where my memory card, my uh, hard drive used to be. It's taped up, oh, let's see. All right, so we're gonna grab one of these bad boys and we're gonna do this. And I do have more actually these skirts too. So hopefully I should I, I don't think I have to like do anything because I got got them all. What do you guys think? I should I already pull the cables on? I think I got enough room in the back and all this. But I, this actually is gonna balance it really good. I can tell it's getting some little weight already. Sure, one screw, I guess. Actually, no one didn't actually put it back right. Let me put this one on this one, but that one did get tight. No one got tight. I'm 
pe. This one off. Now we're gonna go and turn it around. Let's show it to you guys how everything looks and feels. Wow, this definitely is, is something big. That looks nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do some of that wiring. So <clears throat> let's see. So I'm definitely gonna need this one, which if I'm mistaken, I'm gonna have to find this one over here. I like that it's white, actually. Mm, no, that's not actually. Oh, don't tell me. I'm definitely going to have to take that PCU back again. No! Because the other cables that are, that I need, they're right underneath here. And I figure it's going to be a really tight. I don't want to put the weight on the graphic card. So I'm going to see if I can fit them through there. You guys think I can do that? We'll see. Okay, so... I'm definitely gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to not use this one. This is not the right one for that. So, I'm gonna have to go through all my cables. There you go. And you know, and a lot of the uh, PCU uh, power supply ones, companies in between them, they, they like to use the same type of cables. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just say like, go ahead and use what it comes in with. This is actually the ones that came on with the 1000 WAG that I bought, which is the one that got replaced for this one. And that one actually went to to my computer, but I reused the same cables on this one. So these ones are actually brand new. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it there, but I'm gonna have to take it apart, to be honest, because I hate uh, trying to like force force in like connectors. Especially when they go like this hot, hard end. So there you go, there's that one. Now I'm gonna have to fit this one there. And this is why I don't really like sometimes. Especially because I don't have to move this the way I want it to work. But it looks like it went in fine. So I'm just gonna let it rest there. I'm gonna have to put some zip tights later. But it's not going nowhere. So now I need to use me my old connectors. This is the ones that I used to go on in. So, I'm going to put the suckers back on. And 
this one since the mic connectors are all done i'm just gonna throw this sucker on this side and i should be able to just get any pciu so i'm just gonna get something close to here There you go. That way the cables are a little bit balanced each other. There you go. You know, 850 I think is not an overkiller. Oops. It's not an overkiller. But this is what it looks like all put together with the cables. Now let's throw the power cord on. then hope for the best let's hop in. I don't fry anything on it so I'm gonna throw this one over here which that will be my power supply cord I'm gonna go down over here and plug it in I'm actually gonna plug it for the back for now throw that down there case I burn something up well it's burnt <laughs> but this is definitely gonna come really nice and handy for my uh, for my other things that I kind of want to do It. Nothing happened. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Well. excellent that's cool all right there you go i'll just plug it in on the, the little nova go and see how that goes what's up guys this is josue rivas again i want to be showing you what i find now with my e gpu that i did this is my setup with my three quarter thunderbolt gpu dock uh, I got it paired with a 3070 G4 RTX with um, 850 wax power supply and my Lenovo Go. Uh, all the all the things that I done on the mods and stuff like that, I got it. I'll, I'll be listing it on the on the on the bios so you guys can see and what I done to it. So first, I'm gonna show you how it performs with all this after I download the drives. Definitely, you're gonna have to do a lot of things around. Like basically, you're gonna have to download the DDU uh, software uh, to install all the AMD's uh, drives and also the NVIDIA drives. That way, you have a clean start from the beginning. Uh, once you get that, you're gonna have to download the NVIDIA uh, drives for your RTX, and it's just uh, basically after that, it's just a plug in, uh, plug and play. So first of all, let me get me my Lenovo back on. So we're gonna go to Steam. Okay, Steam load really pretty quick, pretty quick. So the problem that I used to have just running the my regular uh, Lenovo by itself, I I wasn't ever able to play uh, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Uh, usually it will like basically freeze, so I will have some issues on it. So. We're gonna make sure before this, I wanna double check. So you wanna do a system, I'm gonna type system configuration. No, actually, no, it's system. system device oh device manager actually so right there 
we're gonna go uh, we're gonna find display adapters so there you go now my Lenovo have recognized that there is a RTX 3070 and it's actually being displayed right now and the other way I can show I can check that if I go to my Nvidia app and I go to a system so right over here it'll tell me Nvidia G4 RTX 3070 uh, my CPU is the Ryzen Z1 Extreme and operation system 11 home so technically basically everything make sure everything your your drivers are up to, up to date uh, I have done a few changes over here make sure so that I can run my uh, my fan speed to about 40 percent some other my voltages and stuff like that that's all you guys have to like figure that out figure out how a desktop and stuff like that so let's go back to steam let's see let's load up a game usually the game I used to have issues is like Call of Duty so I'm gonna get it to start you can still use your basically regular over here you can see the UPU, uh, GPU usage is 10 percent I feel like you're a little bit uh, bottlenecking with your CPU a little bit so you're using most of your CPU than your GPU but I think it, it'll be alright So there, uh, technically, there's a lot of di a lot of improvements on the graphics too. Right now, I'm, uh, FPS is about 103. Obviously, once I'm in the menu, 150, 160, that all change. Uh, there's an update for the game too. Per, per, um, see. So yeah. It's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool cool mo uh, mod that you have for your GPU, and you can uh, you can al also use this for your uh, for your laptops too. If you have if you guys have uh, gaming laptops and stuff like that, I also have a digital storm uh, with a 2070 RTX in it. Uh, I have not used it yet, but that will be my next video just to try. I know you have to have a thunderbolt, a thunderbolt bolt for it. It does get hot. I can already feel it. Uh, so make sure you have a really good ventilation and all that. But you know, this is a pretty nice little cool setup. And you know, like I don't use this. I don't use that either. I got my own setup over here for my desktop and stuff like that. Yeah, I can still play this game if I want to without it, but I know I'm gonna be limited to some of the games. And I'm definitely can play multiplayer with without that. But if I want to play like open world, like uh, a war zone and, and zombie mode and stuff like that, yeah, I have to do that. So technically, you feel a little bit more like a quickness around everything. So uh right now my fps is about 98 because it, it launches it goes from 92 to 102 during game it gets to that point too you can see my gpu temperature is 28 uh hard to tell right there uh let's let's try a, a quick match and see how how it performs there i know it's gonna be a it's gonna be nice i i played it so let's see sure everything is good okay so definitely the graphic looks amazing on it if I go to my graphics over here you can already tell that it's saying 3070 right there uh, equality I have it minimal and you guys can see how much I'm touching right now it's fucking man I love it so I'm just gonna wait until it loads up a little bit Remember the Lenovo uh, uh, refresh frame is, I think it's uh, 144. Let me double check here. I know I have it here. Yeah, it's 144 hertz. Um, 2,560 times uh, by 1,600. 
and you guys can see my performers. I have it on performers. I have it in cost. Uh, I have it on custom 25 wax, and I don't have my full fans on. And I got my OS power mode to performers too. So I'm gonna play and see what, how it looks. So right now I'm doing. I'm running about 96, 94, 93 FPS, more than I I was able to get. I'm gonna move this a little bit more over here. Alright. Oh yeah. Such an improve for sure. This is much better guys. All right, well, I just wanted to show you guys how, how I perform right now, running like about 92, 81. Uh, it's, it flunches back from 87 to 100. It's, it's pretty legit. I like it. It works really good. So that's basically for that. I'm going to get out, log out. But you can play so many good games with this. Now was such a better performance on the and your graphics. Uh, you're not you now not limited to like playing just everything. It, your console runs so much cooler too. It be, it barely even gets hot at all. Uh, so yeah, how about you guys comment below and let me know how what you guys think of the video and if I should be making more videos and all that. So just leave your comments and make sure you subscribe, guys. Okay.